quick review of the substitute for Superfeet uh, orthotic inserts that you can buy on Amazon for less than 20 bucks. This is an old set of Superfeets that I've worn the heck out of and probably going to keep using actually. Um, they were probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 37 to almost 50 bucks for a pair of these guys here, okay? And for me, it just, I, you know, marketing and research and all that stuff, but it makes no sense to be paying that much money for this. You're paying almost as much as a pair of shoes when you buy them at Nordstrom Rack. So what we got here is a bunch that I bought on Amazon, the Power Steps, Walk Heroes, Physics Gear Sports, PCS Soul, unnamed Chinese knockoff number one, which was sold by this guy here, whatever this is. Vicasi 1987, or Vicos 1987. And then the other one is this green, it's kind of worthy looking, fairly worthy looking, green and blue contraption, which is also a no-namer, which is sold by, oh, where is it? This guy right here. Karui, high arch support, plantar fasciitis, blah, 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 blah. And the price was right on all these. I'm pretty sure they're all under 20 bucks. So one of the big things that you need to consider for a plantar fasciitis support is to keep is to prevent plantar fasciitis in the first place by keeping the middle of your foot from flexing. But your toe has to flex, of course. And so that's really important. For me, another thing that's important is I actually have incredibly high arches. As you can see here, like I can stick my finger in here. Um, and so I actually need some support. And even the super feet, you know, don't really come up. I can't actually feel it when it's supporting my arch, okay? One thing I will say for the super feet that none of the rest of them had is a square bottom, which I assume when it sits in your foot, doesn't give the, 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 the insert the chance to rock from side to side. None of the rest of them have it. The power steps come close, but it's round. Walk heroes, sort of flattish, I guess. These guys, very arched. Again, I'm imagining it could probably roll around a little bit. These guys, same thing. These guys we're gonna get into because they're basically at the bottom of my list. And these are actually pretty good. They've got this nice square bottom, which makes them, again, seem kind of worthy. So my next test is just to basically check each one out and make sure that it does the support in the center thing, you know? And the power steps are nice. You push on them and they definitely are stiff in the center, which is good. Walk heroes. Same thing, the whole thing is just one nice piece and then it flexes where the toe is. The physics gear soles, same thing, pretty stiff in the middle and um, they're also really pretty thin which I like and I'll get into why I like that in a minute. The PCS soles, getting into the cheaper stuff, pretty flexible here but decently, you know, these guys, I don't know, gotta take them out of their bag. They don't even make the grade. They have a stiffener in the middle, and they have like a shock absorber for your heel. But when you look at pretty much most modern shoes, I'm sorry, but we don't need a shock absorber. <laughs> That's like at least three quarters of an inch to an inch worth of shock absorption for your heel. So this is just marketing gobbledygook, as is this. Another thing is it's just too thick for me, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then when you try to do the test for the heel, your heel isn't monolithically kept stiff with the rest of the shoe. So these, we could just take these right now, throw them in the out pile, okay? These guys, kind of cool looking. They have the square bottom, which I say I like. They're nice and stiff. Let's check them on the, the arch support thing, you They look almost like super feet because they kind of fill this area in, but I could put my thumb in the same way. My biggest issue with them is that they're too padded. You don't need that much thickness in the front of the shoe. What I'm running into is an issue where when I wear a shoe, it actually starts to bite into my left shoe, foot right about here and put like the front half of my foot asleep during the middle of the day. I have to take my shoes off when I'm sitting at a desk. And the last thing I want is to have my foot be up even higher in the shoe in the front so that the laces or whatever, the construction of the shoe can bite into my foot right across here and put my feet asleep. Actually what it does is it feels numb between these two toes, okay? And my, or my, um, sorry, my podiatrist said that there is a nerve that runs across the top here, which could be getting pinched. So I'm playing games with tying the laces less tight and all sorts of stuff. 
But like I said, the last thing I'm gonna want is for these things to be even taller than most all of the competitors, including Super Pete, which are not, well, let me see here. Interestingly enough, these two are actually very similar in thickness. So there's Super Pete. There's this competitor guy. Yeah, they're a little bit thicker, but still. So, these guys, I'm gonna put them in the no-go pile. I'm gonna show you the ones that so far I've picked out as being the best. And it's the Physics Gear Sports. Look at how thin they are. They're actually thinner than Super Pete. And the support for your arch comes right on up in there. If you're a high arch person like I am. And again, I can kind of stick my thumb in there a little bit but it's pretty darn good. I can actually feel it a little bit right here, which is unusual. So these are the first ones I'm gonna cut up and try. So let's take a look at arch support for the Walk Heroes. Walk Heroes do a pretty good job of being thinnish. They're about as thick as a super feet. Put them up here though, and you can see that there's a big old gap, and I can't feel any arch support at all. They're not likely to be something I'm gonna to want to throw in my shoes. So um, the idea is that I'm gonna send most of these back now these guys, the PCS soles, yeah, no way, not even close. Not only are they thick in the front, but they just don't offer any arch support for a guy like me at all. They're definitely going in here in the reject pile. And then the power steps, let's take a look at them for arch support. And they're really not very good at all, although I like the thinness up here. So. Probably where we're going here, and did we do Walk Heroes yet? I can't remember. Walk Heroes, not really very good for arch support as well. I'm, I can just swim my thumb around in there. So I think the what's gonna happen right now is I'm gonna try the Physics Gear Sports for sure. Um, the reason I'm not gonna try the others is because I have to cut them up in order to test them. And then I can't get my money back. Um, so for me, looking for something with a good amount of stiffness, a really, really high arch, a truly high arch, and some nice thinness in the front so that I don't have to elevate my foot any further than I would want to. I'm gonna start with the Physics Gear Sports. Let's see if we can figure out how much these guys were. Come on. Which were 18.95. And if they work out, I'll definitely hit the buy it again button on those. Thanks for watching to throw the physics gears into my shoes. I ended up having to trim them quite a bit right about here and here actually because they're very wide. In fact, all these are super wide compared to super feet. Um, and I will say that the amount of um, arch support that they give a guy like me with super high arches is incredible. Um, even more so than um, super feet. Like if I put some weight on my leg, I can actually feel the arch support for change, which is really nice. Now, in defense of the power steps or the walk heroes, um, if I were to choose between these two, the runner-up would be Power Step for a couple of reasons. It's not very thick here. It doesn't need to be, right? Because you've got plenty of padding on your shoes. And then the other thing is that this front area is so nice and thin, and the arch is decently high. Um, it's a little thick right here where the arch support is, so you might have a hard time clipping through it. But you could do it, you know, if you needed to trim, trim some of it off. Um, compared to the Walk Heroes, they're cool. They're just a pair thicker. They're basically just as thick as a super feet. They have decently high arch support as well. Um, it's just that they're a little bit thicker in the heel itself. You might end up in a situation where um, you almost feel like you're gonna come out of your shoe because it's, you know, like those old insoles they used to sell short guys to try to make them feel like they're taller. I do like the squareness though of the bottom of the Waukee Rose to try to keep it from, you know, slipping from side to side. That's cool compared to the power steps even, which are pretty round. and even the physics gears, which I'm using. So I would say that all three of these, the power steps are nice for people with a medium high arch. Walk Heroes, again, medium high arch. And if you have a really actual seriously high arch, try the physics gear. I think all three of them are gonna work out just fine for you. And they're gonna feel just as good as, if not better. In my case, this I like the way this feels. I'll know a little bit more tomorrow when I walk on these all day. Um, then even the super feet, which don't, offer that much actual arch support for a person with a really high arch like mine. We'll follow up, I've been walking around with Physics Sports in just a few of my pairs of new shoes and older shoes, and I have found that they are feel no different and give me just as good a support as Superfeet, so 
for like 18 bucks instead of 37 to 50 bucks, I consider them to be a great deal. One thing I can say about cutting them though, to, in, order to, in order to fit inside the shoe, um, I ended up having to use a bandsaw. I happen to have a bandsaw, so it's not that hard to do. I used it like a scroll saw, I just kind of pushed it through the bandsaw and, and cut them. But um, not that easy, you certainly can't do it with kitchen scissors. So that's one thing to consider, because they're in the support area, they're pretty thick. So, um, but very pleased with them, glad I bought them. I've bought at least uh, another two or three sets of them.